Hey, you guys, welcome to another episode of the Nora Show. So, this is a base motel review. I gotta get this out the way. My mother gonna be in uh, episode 2 and beyond that. It's just, I gotta get this out the way. It's been too long with episode 2 coming on tonight. And this gonna be posted the next day. So, I gotta get this out the way real fast. Apparently, Norman was lost for a while, three days. After he killed, uh, I believe her name was Bradley. Uh, Burke. Was it Bradley? Got her fucking name, but anyway, he was after he killed her, he was just lost, talking to himself, and then he came across this old guy. Can I see if he was okay? He tried to hit the old guy. The guy, old guy, just lay his ass out, deck the shit out of him, and he just got knocked the fuck out by this old man. I was like, did this old man just clobber this guy? And and after you know, he in the hospital and um. He, you know, he's going through like like a ridiculous test to see if he right in the head, see if he violent because he would talk to himself. And now Norma got to actually find out that she can put him in a mental facility or he'll get put in that facility because there is something obviously wrong with this guy. And now the now the actual people know about this and he got to do it or I guess the service the service will come and get him and um take his ass back. And you know, he really do need to be in there because he is really fucking crazy. And then what he did to normal mom at the end or Emma. Emma mom at the end was kinda messed up. He choked her with a scarf. I don't know if she died or not, but he choked her. he strangled the shit out of her with that scarf. And it got to the point where I'm looking like I knew you about to die. As soon as you walked up in there, I'm like, up, oh, she's dead. <laughs> like like literally, I'm like, dead woman walking at that particular point I knew that he was about to kill her that's what she walked in I mean she wanted to be there for Elma but she ran off because she couldn't deal with a sick kid she didn't want to be around that and the dad hated her because of that and that's the reason why Norman killed her now Elma she ended up surviving and that is pretty great that she gonna be able to live a normal life Dylan, he in love with her, so hopefully they'll have a actual good relationship. And um, Norma going around asking Alex if he could marry her because he got insurance. I mean, she fried out, marry me. I would sleep with you too, Jay. Marry me. I'm like, damn. She got straight to the point. She do not put any fucking punches. It's crazy how she act. It really is like she'll do any day for that little boy, that that boy. And another thing is how they look at each other sometimes, how she keep kissing them, how they hugging each other. I can't say incest. I, you know how they say brother of compress, sister compress. I can't call this a mother compress, can I? Do they even exist? Like, what the fuck is that? That is too lovey-dovey and just too weird to me. But, hey, I guess it is what it is, I guess. I don't know, man. That shit crazy. And then I just realized I forgot that that fairy tale came out. So I gotta make a prediction and a review. Uh, well, if that came out, I forgot all about fairy tale. Wow. But anyway, tell you guys, thank. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, next week my mother gonna be um, well not well, next week. Shit, tomorrow episode Marvel will be a part of that one. So you'll see the review with her in it. But anyway, have a good one, you guys. Oh, also. Check out eBar. The link is in the description below. The ebook is four dollars ninety nine cents. The paperback is fourteen dollars ninety nine cents. You could read the first two chapters for free if you download a sample. Um, if you get the paperback first, you can get the max book for the ebook for free, and it's free on Kindle Unlimited, like everything else is. But anyway, have a good one. Peace out.